gets earlier and earlier every time I film any form of Christmas come shop with me Christmas event but it's not my fault it is the Christmas stores that are doing this so I feel like I need to share it with you as early as possible so that you can grab the bit otherwise they literally sell out so today I have been invited to Benson's Christmas showcase so it actually gets opened for everyone and um, the day before it gets open to the public if that makes sense so they have like so it's like vip guests like influencers and also if you are a member of bent you can actually pay to have like an afternoon tea and um, the night before everyone else sees it so it will open tomorrow at 11 o'clock and um, so today is like the 10th of october so it will be open f as from then and um, but i'm really really excited and um, i'm excited to have the afternoon tea i'm excited to see all the christmas stuff because it gets better every single year the setups are always gorgeous but i've actually never been invited by them to come to this showcase so i'm really excited to see and of course i want to bring you around with me if you're not in the festive spirit just yet that's absolutely fine you can watch it closer to the close to Christmas but yeah anyway let's go in god use it's like a sweet shop like pick a mix style and i'm not being funny right i must have a sixth sense because i predicted that gingerbreads would be a huge theme this year i literally predicted it months ago and here we are and i am obsessed with this gingerbread tree that they've done and i am 100 percent changing my elf tree to a now a gingerbread tree i weren't going to and now i am but look at these so all the gingerbreads are like holding stuff they also got this wreath which is absolutely gorgeous of him holding this they've got like the little felt like cups what else did they have that i want to show you the pretzels no i'm sorry guess who's getting pretzels for the tree do i need them absolutely not i'm getting them and i love this concept as well of putting like bags on the tree didn't even think of it like i feel like that's quite outside the box i also love the signs in the tree i have done that before but i love the gingerbread bakery ones i feel like it's given do you remember two years ago they actually did like a baker's tree they might have one around who knows because it's a huge near weight this video is going to go off let me tell you but i love all this like i've got all that and i'm thinking i could definitely like low-key change this theme do you know what i mean from like the elf into more like the red gingerbread theme i was like i'm not changing my theme this year literally the first i've only just walked in i've literally walked in and i'm already literally changing my theme and i just love the top as well isn't that fab and then when you come around here obviously you've got like the subtle like oh look at that above the doorway oh do you know what when i have my own house i'm 100 percent doing that like i can't wait and then here's sort of like the pick and mix area where you can pick up all like the little trinkety bits which i love i've got loads of them do you see what i mean like you can easily like oh Oh, I love that. See, this is like two years ago, bakery. Let me know in the comments. Does anyone remember that theme? Has anyone been to Benson seen that theme? How happy does he look? Oh my god, everything's here. No, I need them Christmas puds. How much are they? They are $8.99. They've got the pretzels as well. Need them in my life. The jumper. No use. I'm actually going to cry. The croissant no i need them how much are they they're a fiver i might have to get the croissant you know no okay i'm ordering no i'm in full christmas swing now full christmas mood is on like it really is i don't think the likes of these are for sale but i always love like the setups in here they're always gorgeous so you've got like all the signs and all the decorations obviously they're all to buy <gasps> look at that train they had that last year and all the big candy canes as well they're absolutely gorgeous so yeah that is this little first bit and then we'll make our way around to the second no sorry you tell a lie because i didn't realize you had stuff around here no it's a flipping trio donut decoration is that picking up no how gorgeous is that please and they've got all of these like glass um sweets they've got the gingerbread men 
We've got these cakes which you may have seen like last year. We've got the gingerbread wreaths. We've got all like gingerbreads. Amrith focus lately is just not. Oh my god, you how gorgeous is that? It's so cute. Let's see how much it is. It is $4.99 for that. Merry Christmas sign. That is $3.49. How gorgeous is that? I actually love them signs as well. The hot cocoa station. And that one's gorgeous as well. Oh, and a little reindeer doorstop. <laughs> oh, no, that is so cute. I mean, this is absolutely gorgeous. It's given Nordic slash, slash ripped back Christmas, but I really like it. It's literally made out of branches and they put baubles on it. I mean, I always love displays here, but the creativity for me is like a 12 out of 10. I absolutely love it. And I love the hanging baubles as well. Cause I think, imagine that, like going up the stairs, like having them on your staircase. And they've done a mini version here as well. Can you see that? Um, I'm not actually allowed in the display for my own safety. I also love these trees and my fave boucle chair from Coach House is obviously their standard. But I love this and I love as well the way it shows you how you can incorporate this into your house. Like, I know it sounds mad, but like, if you are struggling for money this year and you did want another tree, go out in your garden, get some branches, get a few fancy baubles and look at that. You've got a tree that like, doesn't have to be expensive to look fantastic, do you know what I mean? No, you actually aren't going to be of this. No. No, I am sorry, but is this everyone's children's tree paradise? There's a flipping llama. A llama? I cannot. No, I'm sorry. This is what I mean by the displays, but it, like, it's like you're at the fun fair. Oh, wow. <gasps> no. Insane. Insane. No, this is my favourite so far. I love anything when it's like super creative, but this is like insane oh wow that is gorgeous look they've got like the hook -a duck kind of vibes it's literally like you at the fun fair i'm presuming that's the theme of this it usually says you know oh my god there's a disco ball there as well it usually says the themes on them if i can find them i will oh and then they've got everything here to shop oh stunning look at this gorgeous and then they've got the rubber duckies how much are the rubber duckies they are $5.99. They're gorgeous. I love them as well. No, insane. No, look at them lollipops. They're different to the ones I've seen previous years. I can't see a price on them, but if I find out a will. Got disco balls, all the sweets. Oh, they're gorgeous as well, aren't they? I think we're going into like the more traditional side of things. They because if you like making your own wreath, you know, to have like in the middle. Oh uh, no, I'm sorry, they're terrifying. No, can we all just take them in? Zooming in slowly but surely. No. <laughs> they will give me nightmares. I'm sorry. Absolutely not. No, horrifying. Horrifying. No, you can't buy them. Is it just me or does anyone feel like some of like the old style baubles are coming back in like style? Like look at these. I feel like I've seen them elsewhere and they are absolutely gorgeous. I also love these as well. I'm sorry, they're terrifying. Is this like ski ski lodge with a terrifying flipping elf on? He's gonna give me nightmares, absolute nightmares. I'm sorry, I'm against, I'm against them. There's all like the elf legs and things like that. Yes, this is given. So this set is like this ski resort vibe. <gasps> oh, absolutely obsessed with it, absolutely love it. Look at it. It's literally like, now is this, sorry, is anyone else getting excited for Christmas? Because I am absolutely thrilled. I cannot wait. Oh, look at him just attached there. They always do. Like, no, they've, they've got actual skis. Now I've had actual skis. See, this is why you should go all out of Christmas shoes. And then on this side, we've got like traditionals making a comeback. I'm shocked a little bit. I didn't really like traditional, but then now all of a sudden, by the way, we did have a traditional tree. I all of a sudden want to get the traditional deckies back out because these, I'm sorry, stunning. Like the quality of them is ridiculous. Like absolutely gorgeous. And I'll show you some of the bits you've got as well. You've got like, where's that before? Oh, yeah, the plane with a tree on. Know how gorgeous. So they are actually £10, these ones. Um, and then they've got, they've got Santa drinking hot chocolate. <laughs> no, absolutely obsessed. And then they've got all like wooden bits. I absolutely love them. I feel like you could do a little DIY like paint job if you wanted to. Um, and I love these as well. If you're doing like, they're still terrifying, but if you are doing a Barbie tree, I suppose we could, we could. Oh, so why? 
that's terrifying news and then i love these signs as well and them ones they're 16.99 We've still got all the candy cane stuff, but I think it's making like remember that used to be aisles and aisles full. Now it's kind of like it's still there, but it's just like an essence of it in new themes. I really want this. They are twenty quid, and so is that one. But I feel like to be really nice. Do you know what I mean? Um, especially for like when I do like sounds <laughs> sounds a bit like what's the word? Not vain, but like when I get like social media videos, something like that in the background would be nice. Do you know what I mean? Like a prop kind of thing. Um. But yeah, no, it's not fine. That's not the word, is it? You know what I mean. Um, I also love these ones as well. Plus the detail in them are gorgeous. They are a tenner each. Um, and then ten pound for those ones as well. Um, and then the scales ones as well, which are nice. So if you are doing like the bakery theme, I think it looks really nice. I just love it. <gasps> Oh, just is that. So that's kind of a mix of like the candy cane slash the pi oh, stop it now. Oh, I love this. This is supposed to be like cocktail bar, like pink, red, and white. I'll just step back so you can see the theme. Oh my god, that is gorgeous. No, that is unreal. So it's a mix of this. No, look how many themes we've still got to do, guys. Like, you are literally gonna be spoiled for choice i need to go back in here as well like <gasps> and this one i'm sure use this one oh my god no use this is beautiful this is given like ralph Lauren. you know when i find all the ralph Lauren ants in tk maxx like if you've got them and you're wondering what to do with your tree look no further it's still in keeping with like the navy blue we've been seeing but they've flipped and got an in like they've got an in in the tree no i know i'm as shocked as you i also love them cushions i think they might be for sale as well and here's another similar <gasps> Oh, stop it. Oh my, no, sorry, he has a statement in himself. I automatically need to buy him. How much is he? <laughs> sorry, how much are you? I'm literally, oh, stop it. He looks like the fella off the Lorax. You want to him with the beard and that? How much is this guy? Oh, 80 pounds. Hmm. I also love this as well. How gorgeous is that? How much are these? They are 75 pounds. English pounds, interesting. Um, and then we've got like sort of the simple. Oh, uh, you guys, I'm so sorry. They've literally been telling me the themes on the foot and top, and I've been ignoring them. So this theme is simple elegance. Love that. It's very pink, very Parisian chic city gal, and um, fairies, whimsically. I don't know. Very glittery, very sparkly. Not really to my taste, but I can step back and appreciate it. However, I can appreciate these, aren't they beautiful? They're gorgeous, them. So, yeah, and then this is Royal. This is Royal Azure. I think that's how you say it. And they've got mini hands. <gasps> aren't they boss? They remind me of, like, Barbie house bits. <laughs> they are boss. No, sorry, yous, but I am obsessed with the moon and the fact that this is, like, a fairy garden moon theme. I cannot even cope, like obsessed look at like the little bridge and all these decorations are absolutely stunning like look at that huge moon and they've got the hamza hands as well aren't they gorgeous and all these little hand painted baubles at the top it is beautiful like, you can't even see the tree there's that many gorgeous bits on it which i love about it but look how unreal they are i am obsessed with this i love them as well like the little hands, the little eyes in the tree gorgeous this theme's called eclipse valley and i'm sorry it's a bit of me it is a bit of me we've got the hands again i've just showed you the eyes aren't they stunning they're something you'd see in like harrod you know 7.99 unreal unreal like look at this i want to love them the navy nutcrackers can you see that this this theme is monochrome did it do this theme earlier did it go? Oh yeah, I did. Sorry, we went in this. We went in the end, didn't we? So this is like the monochrome theme. I don't know whether you seen my video last year, but I went to Liberty London and they had them moons in, and they had the smaller moon versions as well. And they actually had the dupe in um, in Home and Bargain lol. Um, there's also a black tree. The Nutcrackers. They're gorgeous. They're seventy five pound. 
and I'm not sure how much he is but he's gorge and that's still from the simple elegance theme as well so you know what I've just showed you like that was wrapped around here I know it's hard to get your head around but and that royal azure if that makes sense around the other side I think I spoke to you about that using getting content for TikTok and um, Instagram and YouTube it's a lot to handle on your own oh my god there's them gorgeous Santa hats they are 27.99 aren't they stunning stop it aren't they gorgeous i love them they like this gingerbread theme i love them trees as well this gingerbread theme is very consistent there's my two um and i love these houses as well aren't they gorgeous oh that's fab as well okay i didn't think i was in the festive mood and now i am so here is mischief way which i'm presuming is like more of like the natural you've got the squirrels the fairy garden popular theme last year that i don't think it's like on its way out are they gorgeous well i've seen them in um autumn actually so i feel like this is some a theme you could carry on you know if you had like bits and pieces like this decor wise in like your autumn styling that you could just put in your tree you know save you a few bob love that the shed <laughs> hilarious oh, that is so cute i just love christmas now look at that that is gorgeous to be fair there are some nice bits in this section this is like very me very scandy um my tree as you know is rammed but i do like these these are 3.49 and i do need big baubles i might get them you know they're more of like a i think they're more of like a champagne as opposed to a brown though I love these as well, I had them last year. I think I might have bought some of them. This is my problem, you see, you know, when I come Christmas shopping earlier, I don't know what I have and haven't bought. I also love the owls. For any Harry Potter fans, this will be right up your street. Sort of given Hedwig, head, can't speak, Hedwig tree. Um, oh, look at them. Do you know what? I'm going to do that this year. I said last year that I was going to put branches in my tree and never got around to it, but I definitely will this year. Um, but I also just love the scenes. Like imagine if I, I don't think that would actually fit in my studio to be fair a big thing <laughs> I wish it did oh no the, the scenes are beautiful and here's a very similar one on the other side as well but I don't think that's the same actual theme no it's not so this one is natural no I'm lying it's called sweet magnolia that's natural living they're all very similar themes so the other one was like more autumnal outside this one's more like I don't know, just like green and gold, do you know what I mean? And then you've still got like your hint of owls, but I'd say it's got like a bit more of like the elegance touch to it. It um, looks a bit more expensive as opposed to like you've just put your garden on your tree. <laughs> Which, by the way, I'm not knocking because I actually like that vibe. Oh, I love them. Aren't they nice? I feel like they're a bit of me. Love them for styling. I may have to get. You've got nutcracker ornaments. Oh that well that's gorgeous as well local grown christmas trees sorry as i say i'm if i'm like going all over the place i'm just i get quite excited then you've got that that's gorgeous that's a tenner might have to get that <laughs> i feel like in my head i'm just shopping because like we're going for afternoon tea in a minute so i feel like i'm gonna clock in my head what i want think about it when i get back and then come back with a trolley it's kind of that one of them but i do love that and i like that as well with the eucalyptus and the pampas over the top that's unreal. How gorgeous is that? Oh, that is a bit of me. <gasps> no, sorry, this is a bit of me. Oh, I love that as well. You're not allowed in because of the spray. Oh, stunning. I love that wreath as well. Are they like cinnamon sticks? I think they've put in there. I love all the style in here as well. You've got like a fireplace. It's just good inspo. I love them as well, the wrap gifts. I love that. If you can buy that, I'm going to... Sorry, I'll try and zoom in because I'm not allowed in the actual display. See that ribbon? gonna buy that because i think it's gorgeous and then houses we've seen before as well they've put them in the tree and they've got the all this bright they actually put um, ranges in the tree as well which i love and there's some people bubbles hanging there too which is cute no use how have i even missed this display just slipping running water for one there's a huge gold sprayed reindeer and this unreal tree i think i've showed you the tree but i'm sorry you can't even question the setups like they are so cool. I'd love to know who does them, you know. Usually they have like a little tag on the tree and like this was designed by Angela, like she did the tree. And they haven't done that this year and I, I missed that. So then to be watching this, can you bring back the bears and touch because I miss it. No, I've had there's just bears flying 
in the place. I love this tree as well. It's literally just full of Santas. They look a bit more friendly than the elves. I'm glad they haven't like wormed them horrible elves in. <gasps> oh, mate, you're cute. Look at his jumper. Oh, no, I'm actually gonna sob. He's literally getting a feature on Insta because he's that cute. Oh. Do you know what this reminds me of? Like being a kid. Oh, stop. No use, I actually come on this like, little village. Imagine if you actually had this in your house, isn't it crazy? There's a flipping muffin wheel. There's all sorts, what in the name? Imagine if you could actually have this in your house. That is mad. Really, these, please. How fab would they be as a centrepiece? Be like you could bring all this together yourself. And they're fab as well. I think you can actually buy them. But okay, you can. £230. But I reckon all the bits are from here. I think they've just made it themselves so you could actually just buy the bits for yourself. So we're outside where you can get all like the plants in the garden and stuff. And they've got the most gorgeous tree. Isn't that fab? They've got a flipping flying reindeer. And then if you're familiar with Ben's as well, there's this huge like outdoor um kind of like winter market and they do all like stalls and you can sit in the middle and when it's a daytime obviously this is like an exclusive event so it's not like on because we're having our own like sit down meal thingy um but it's always chocolate yeah it's always heaving they have like roast sweet treats um stuff going on in the middle they've got all like cabins and things like that it's honestly so so good i think you get like the yorkshire pudding wrap if that makes sense um and then as well out here they've got um Look how cute this is. The penguins. They must light up. They mustn't be on. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, and look at these over here. Oh, no use. Unreal. Oh, uh, do you know what? They're doing another little area this year. Oh, fab. So there's all benches. And then they've got the flying reindeer. I'm sorry, that is so cool. Like, that is amazing. Just an afternoon tea spot. I brought me mum. She does not want to be captured in the Philippines. <laughs> How gorgeous is this? So everyone's sitting there and there's a singer on. She's literally, I'll zoom in, she is over there. Can you see her? So we're now just waiting for our afternoon tea. And I can't wait. It's going to be gorgeous. Afternoon tea. Looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Oh, I love it. It's so cute. Delicious, unreal. So I've just got home. God knows what I look like right now. Copper in hand. Like I genuinely don't think I could live without coppers. Don't know if that's a British thing, but there's always a copper in my hand, honestly. Um so yeah, just had, had to drive home. It takes like 45 minutes um to get to Bent um from where I am. So I will leave the location um of Bent down below for you. And now I am just literally uploading a few um Instagram stories, TikTok, things like that. Um, and the Bake Off's off on in a minute. And I feel like in the Bake Off mood because like one of the trees was like the gingerbread theme. But how gorgeous really bent never fail for me on the setups. Um and I was really, really lucky to like share the event with my mum because a lot of the events I do them alone or like obviously as you know um I invite one of my friends to like if it's like an opening locally in Liverpool um you've probably seen them on my story but um yeah I got to take my mum tonight which was really really lovely um and then we had that like afternoon tea experience and I'm just going to share something really like quite personal um but like two years ago I literally went um to Ben's with my mum and I was really in a bad place I was really down um I was really unhappy in my job um, I just felt like I needed to change. I had a rough few months in my personal life. Um, and I decided that I was going to hand my notice into my job the next day. And I did that two years ago. And we felt quite emotional sitting there tonight. Because I was like, wow, like if you literally make one of the hardest decisions or scariest decisions to like, break the cycle that you might be in in your own life, um, you can really like change the trajectory of your own life and I feel like the past two years have most definitely been a roller coaster. like it wasn't all sunshine and rainbows mm. at the beginning don't get me wrong but I feel like I was sitting there going to oh I'd love to get invited to like Bent's Christmas event and like um just mad yeah I'm not gonna get upset but I feel a bit upset as you know I went to um the Home and Bargains event the other day and got invited there 
and it's just been the maddest two years and also probably like the hardest at the same time but the most amazing and the most funnest and the most i'd probably say in the past like this year i've definitely been a lot happier personally but yeah like it might sound silly to some people being like oh you know it's only a bent event but it's not that just that to me it's not just an event it's it's everything it's what i've wanted it's what i've dreamed of it's what i was sitting there upset because i weren't feeling like i was doing what i wanted to do and what i loved and to be in this position now and to be invited by ben to, is so huge to me and i couldn't be more grateful and i couldn't be more thankful to you guys for following me on this journey and it might seem silly as a christmas video to put that in but i just feel like it's lovely for me to look back on because I know looking at that video that I did in Ben's like two years ago, I was in such a different headspace in my own self and I want to be able to look back into another two years time and be like wow that's where I was at and it's lovely that I get that like chance to document my own life through through youtube like even going to these events i love watching them back years later like i'm documenting my own life which is amazing so yeah that is a bit of a bit of a mad one for this video but i just like to put things like that and i just like to be honest with you guys and yeah it's been crazy anyway bent is officially open tomorrow so that will be what take me on today that will be the 11th tomorrow um so you can go and see that then i think it's open 10, 10 o'clock or 11 i think this video will be going up this weekend so it's already open so go and look go and enjoy i love the carnival theme i think i'm going to introduce more gingerbread bits into it i didn't actually buy anything the only reason being it was hard because there were so many meal bits i forgot what i've got and then i don't want to buy loads of stuff that i don't need you know what i mean so i need to like knuckle down and see what like theme that I'm, I think I'm going to do the candy cane still, but, and, but put gingerbread in. But as you know, I've got three trees, so, you know, I'm not spoiled for choice. Um, so, yeah, I've probably got no lip gloss on during the whole of this. I do apologise. Um, but, yeah, anyway, um, thank you. Thank you for listening to my rant. I hope you did enjoy this video. I'm actually going to Inspiration's Wholesale Christmas event tomorrow, so that video will be up next. So, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on my next video.